Hello everybody, this is String here, back to conclude round three. We're past the halfway stage of the group stage, and actually, amazingly, we're past the halfway mark of the whole tournament. If everything goes to plan, come the 31st of March, we're going to find out who wins this tournament. No, it seems a long way away, don't it? <laughs> it's a long tournament. But anyway, in this session, we are going to see a clash at the top between Dragon Destroyer and Blood Moon, Red Bean Ice Cream going up against Shin Dominus, and then Asta taking on Dan Saurus. So yeah, that's really not, not as tight as some of the other groups, Group H, mainly because these three have won their first two. Come the end of this, at least one of them will have that 100% record going bye-bye. Right, let's go with our first matchup, shall we? Well, you can't ask for a better start than match. The top two going at it. Okay, in the red corner for Dragon Destroyer, we got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Actually, these two have similar teams as well. Okay, where are we? We are on the Dirt Plains, which is actually very good news for Dragon Destroyer. Because this Super Triceratops will have the terrain advantage. Could that be the difference? Uh, Waker Mode on 2, I think. I'll, do I'll double check real quick. I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> no, I'll double check this to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 2. Yes, it is. Okay, as for Blood Moon in the blue corner, we got the T-Rex. It was a shredding machine in round two against Asta. And I'm sure Blood Moon will want it to be a shredding machine in this round. Oh, this is going to be tight. I think the terrain advantage does give Dragon Destroyer the upper hand. But can he utilize that terrain advantage? Backing up the Rex, we got Deinonychus. Now, what's interesting is that this is the round where, in the last tournament, the wheels started to come off for Blood Moon, because they had such a strong start, and then I think they lost in round three. And that, and that was when I said, like I said, the wheels came off. We'll see if history repeats itself, or will Blood Moon indeed make it three out of three? Well, let's face it. Actually, yeah, the winner will be guaranteed a place in the last 32 round. Ooh, is Blood Moon getting the first hit on the board? Not a big hit, because the T-Rex's power is all in the crit, but a hit's a hit. Oh, that's going to do more damage, though. That's a crit. And actually, it'll be time to swap for Dragon Destroyer. Oh, I think he's going to need that terrain advantage. Ooh, gets a hit on the board. That could have been a death fire. That could have easily have been a death fire, but it wasn't. Instead, you're just going to have to settle for a volcano burst. Okay, but the Super Triceratops does come in with a terrain advantage, so it will get a crit. Okay, that's one. So, Dragon Destroyer coming back into this, but the Dino Stuffer is going to wait. Going to stop that terrain advantage from happening. Might be a best good thing for Dragon Destroyer there, because if he gets a, if he had got a crit with the Awaker Mode, the Awaker Mode would have been wasted, and then Blood Moon would be well on top. Big moment this could be. Oh, Blood Moon gets the hit! Oh, how costly could that be? It's Alpha Dart as well, so I think the Awaker Mode's not going to limit the damage. Oh, how costly could this be? Oh, that's going to be a big blow for Dragon Destroyer. Oh, look at that. All of a sudden, Blood Moon in command. Well, you're going to have to swap back into the acro, buddy. Oh, and he doesn't even get the swap. Okay, yeah, wow, Blood Moon really on top. The Alpha Acro is going to get it as well. Needed that Triceratops to swap out to get that terrain advantage. But, oh, blood, yeah, Blood Moon's going to win this match comfortably by the looks of it. Oh, okay, there's a crit. Maybe not. And if the Triceratops can stall long enough, that Acro will heal up. Oh, the Blood Moon. Wow, big moments there. Ooh, and Blood Moon's going to fail the swap as well. I still think Blood Moon's in the lead, but Dragon Destroyer does have two dinos to one. Will that swap prove to be crucial? Dragon Destroyer coming back into this contest. Oh, 
Oh, that's a tie. That's all she wrote for Triceratops. Ooh, interesting. I think the Acro can tank a hit, as long as it's not a crit. Ooh. Blood Moon in trouble, perhaps. Because this Acro does have the Death Fire as well. Take that into account. And all of a sudden... Have the odds tilted in Dragon Destroyer's favour. Blood Moon just can't seem to get a hit. Oh, he can't get a hit. He's going to get it again. Dragon Destroyer coming back. Okay, yeah, I think Dragon Destroyer might actually win this match. Oh, the Volcano Burst would have sealed the deal. Oh, the tie is done it. Oh, the Dynamicus hanging on by a thread. Oh, has Blood Moon saved himself? Is this going to be lethal? Oh, it's not! The Death Fire has been tricked! Oh my, oh my god, this could be a tie. All on this. Who's going to win? And it's Dragon Destroyer again in the win. Ooh, we could have had a tie then. <laughs> Dragon Destroyer coming from behind to win the match. I tell you what, if that was a dynamic galaxy, Blood Moon would have won the match. But it's Dragon Destroyer making it three wins out of three with a come from behind victory. I mean, didn't use the Awaken mode well, didn't use the terrain advantage well, but still won. Crazy, isn't it? And that will pretty much assure their place in the last 32 round. But Blood Moon will get a losing bonus point as well, so they're not leaving away empty-handed, but... Oof. Chance missed there, chance missed. Right, on to our second matchup. Right, let's see what this match cooks up for us. In the red corner, for Red Bean Ice Cream, we have got an Apatosaurus. Red Bean Ice Cream and Shindominus, two losses from two so far. The main difference is that Red Bean Ice Cream has managed to get some losing bonus points. So, I, yeah, Red Bean Ice Cream in a better situation than Shindominus. Skip! Backing up the Apatosaurus, we got Paris. Okay, so both want to swap their HPs in the red. We are on the Dirt Plains, which doesn't affect anybody. So yeah, one of the matches where I don't read my notes. <laughs> okay, as for Shindominus in the blue corner, we got the Omega Eocarcaria. Shindominus, kind of been underwhelming so far. Of course, they put up a good fight against Blood and they did well in that matchup. In the second matchup, they struggled a bit. But yeah, if, well, they, I feel like they're going to have to try and win this match. Because if Red Bean Ice Cream wins, that'll put them to five points. Which will mean that Shin Dominus will have to win his last two matches to have any chance again at the group. And hope that Red Bean Ice Cream doesn't get any more points. Because, well, you've got Dragon Destroyer on nine. You'll have Blood Moon on seven. And then you've got Dan Soros on six. And if Dan Soros wins his match... He'll go to 9. Anyway, backing up the uh, Eocarcaria. You saw the Eoraptor there. It's become Lambiosaurus, which could be a problem. It might, it should have green impulse. Could be a problem that for Red Bean Ice Cream. Ooh, but Eocarcaria gets the first hit. It's a crit. Well, normally Eoraptor would come in, but the Eocarcaria hasn't been hit. Well, this is a good start from Shin Dominus. A neck crusher coming as well. Red Bean Ice Cream yet again going. Shin Dominus imposing himself early on. Ooh, but Red Bean Ice Cream gets away with that swap. A Patnosaurus getting a hit on the board. Defense burst activating there as well. Element has his elemental power. Now Paris gets to come out to play. Good hit that could be from Red Bean, because the Apathosaurus will heal up. Oh, oh, here comes Tail Smash, so you know what's coming next. It's going to be a Nature's Blessing. 
Heal Karkiri are about to heal up. So we might see some Omega armor. Oh, okay, no, it's going to be Flare Sword instead. Oh, oh, the laggy Flare Sword. Doosh. Oh, oh, wait, what? It was Gildet? Um, well, Paris, time to swap back. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, Paris getting the hit there. The light recovery to come as well. Swapping back into the Apatosaurus. But that will be all the swapping that Red Bean Ice Cream will be doing in this match. Oh, and Nature's Blessing as well. And you know, because that Paris will heal up again. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, Kakasaurus getting another hit. Red Bean Ice Cream slowly coming back into this contest. I mean, the Eoraptor is fragile as that. Oh, hello, we gotta support the fact. Nature's Blessing coming in as well. Hmm. Very interesting match so far. Ooh, the Eokark here is gonna get that tail smash. It's gonna get the swap out as well. And I think when it comes back in, it'll have Omega Armor as well. Oh, it won't. But it will finish off the Apatosaurus with a Flare Sword. Well, the key here for Red Bean, kill this Eoraptor as quick as possible. So that e Eocarcaria has to come straight back in. Oh, that's not good. That's a tie. Oh, wait, this thing doesn't have green impulse. It doesn't have any moves. Ooh, that's a hit. Boosh. Yeah, look at that. Not even a crit, and it did all that. Okay, so the e or e your raptor getting another getting a hit there. Ooh, it's good. This is a tight contest. Boosh. Red bean ice cream definitely not going down without a fight. Ooh, the super counter type's gonna be a factor. The light recovery's gonna come in. Lucky that's not a crit. Oh, look at that. Look at the damage. Nature's blessing. Paris keeps healing up. Although, I think that's gonna be it for both of those recovery moves. No more nature's blessings now. Oh, is our tie gonna be lethal? Whoa, only just. That tie, however, will be lethal. And now Eokarkiri has got to come back in. Wow, look at this. We are easy. Another even match. Oh, the Paris gets the hit. Can Red Bean win it? Well, the, the losing bonus points secured. But can they win this match? Oh, it's a tie. Oh, hang on, we got Omega Armor. Enter the code, quick. Well, we got we got to see Omega Armor in this tournament. I don't think we've seen it before. All comes down to this. And it's Shin Dominus getting the job done. How crucial of a win that could be. Eokarkiria finishing the job against Paris. But. Red Bean Ice Cream will get a losing bonus point. Which is, in fact, they've got three losing bonus points. I think that might be a record. <laughs> wow. They could be, they could, in theory, they could lose all five matches and get five points. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, that was, that was tough on Red Bean Ice Cream, but Shin Dominus getting it done in the end by the skin of his teeth. Well, could that turn his fortunes around in this tournament? That's three big points to put them above Red Bean Ice Cream in the table. Right, on to our final match of this session. Oh, and the Sunset Beach Field, which is going to be an interesting one. In the red corner faster, we got the Decreosaurus, which will have the terrain advantage on this field. And they'll have the type advantage over the Sorrow Baganax as well. 
So his first, but his first move will be rock. <laughs> Not a water move, sadly, for Aster's sake. And they need a bit of luck because they haven't got any points yet. But here's a problem for them because backing up the Decreosaurus, we've got enough to Titan. Which will have terrain disadvantage. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. In the blue corner for Dansaurus, we got the Waste of Space Sorophagonax. I call it a waste of space because he's done naff all in this tournament. Except die. And based on the fact that he's going up against a dinosaur with terrain advantage and type advantage, it's probably going to die again. Backing up the Sorophagonax, a dinosaur that has done well in this tournament for Dan, Kralophosaurus, and is basically the reason why he's won first two matches. Maybe Sorophagonax will sweep one day, but I just don't think that'll be this match. Right, first things first, let's do this terrain advantage for the love of Lulu. Say, as they say, get it over with, get it over with. Come on, Sorophagonax, accept your hit. What's interesting is that the Sorophagonax's HP will be in the yellow, so... Dan will be attempting to swap out straight away. Oh, okay, won't be in the yellow. Never mind, I take it back. But the Futaba Cannon will get triggered. Oh, there's a tie. Alright, now it's in the yellow. Which means it's time to swap out the Faganax. Oh, he's not getting the swap. <laughs> it's going to die again, isn't it? Wow, this sort of Faganax really can't catch a break so far. Getting slaughtered. Oh, here comes Aqua Javelin, which means he's dead. Oh my god, it's Oh my god, the Faganax just can't catch a break! He's freaking dead already! Um, well, Cryo, you got your work cut out for you, buddy. This is where I would tell Dansaurus that he's screwed in this match, but this Kralophosaurus has basically carried him. Oh my god, he might carry him again. Okay, so I still want to swap my HPs in the red, by the way. Ooh, hello, it might be carrying him. Oh, it's a hit, though. I think because the secret move got triggered, the, the uh, thingy took less damage. Okay. Terrain disadvantage here, so... Ooh, we're going to get a secret move. Because the, uh, the Anata Titan does have terrain disadvantage, so the crowd does get a hit. And we're going to see a frozen glide. This beach is about to get a whole lot colder. Oh, it's like dancing. Oh my god, the damage! It's like dancing on ice. Ooh, this makes things interesting. Okay, time to swap into the Decreosaurus. Ooh, <laughs> the Nat I Bloody hell, I'm freaking out of here. Ooh, hello, we've got a green impulse. Oh, it's a really tight match. Crown of Fasaurus yet again proving his worth. Whereas Sorophagonax does not. Can't ask to see this out for the bonus point. Oh, wait, hang on, he didn't get the swap. Okay, since I was technically a tie, I will attempt the swap again. Ooh, he's get okay. There's a, well, it actually doesn't matter. Just yeah, I just realised it doesn't matter. If a, a Titan gets the hit, it's game over. And it did get the hit, and it is game over. And Dan's one winning start comes to an end. But Asta getting off the mark with a big bonus point win. Ooh, it didn't... Well, I, I thought Dan Soros would fare better in this matchup. But yet again, the Sorophagonax being a slacker. Okie dokie. Let, let's look at how, how Group H stands after that round. Again, another interesting group. We got Dragon Destroyer up top with nine points. Cru more crucially, six points clear of Shin Dominus, who currently sits fifth. Then we have Blood Moon on seven points. Dansaurus on six. Aster sneaking into the fourth place after that bonus point win. And then we have Shin Dominus getting off the mark in this tournament as well. And then poor old Red Bean Ice Cream at the bottom. But they do have three losing bonus points.
Right, let's see who plays who in round four. So round four, we will see Shin Dominus taking a crack at Dragon Destroyer. Dansaurus going... Ooh, here's a big game at the top. Dansaurus going up against Blood Mooner. This could be the big game in this round. And then we will have Asta taking on Red Bean Ice Cream. So yeah, round four, massive round for Group H. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. So wow, round three of the group stage, done and done. And now we're moving on to round four. This is, this is the round where we will start to see people get knocked out and more people will go through to the last 32. So yeah, until then, thanks for watching. Ta-ta!